Hi guys, this is Virendra from iDeserve. Today I'm going to talk about min stack. So the problem statement here is to implement a stack with operations min, push, pop, and top. We need to do all these operations in order of one. Generally, the operations for stack are push, pop, and top, which are in order of one already. The new thing here is to implement min operation, which gets the minimum element from the stack in order of one. So these are the operations: push, pop. top and min let's look at the first approach for this here i am going to maintain a stack where i am going to fill out the elements i'll maintain a top here in this particular variable i'll also keep track of what operation i am doing here and another variable which is basically a minimum variable which maintains the minimum of the stack okay let's look at an example and try to push each and every number from here onto the stack okay let's push 7 what we see is top of the stack is 7 now and since we didn't have any minimum to compare with we we update the minimum as 7 let's push 8 since 8 is greater than 7 the minimum isn't updated let's push 5 since 5 is less than 7 the minimum gets updated to 5 and then let's push 9 since 9 is greater than 5 we don't have to update minimum right the minimum is still 5 is there something wrong with this approach i think there is something wrong let's try to pop out elements and see what is wrong okay so let's pop out 9 and we see at this point we have a stack of 5 8 7 and the minimum is 5 which is correct right let's pop out 5 and see what happens now the stack contains only 7 and 8 but still the minimum is 5 right so that is wrong okay it is wrong because we have to keep track of minimums at each level of the stack so at this level 7 is the minimum at the upper level 5 was the minimum then the next level still 5 was the minimum so if we had maintained 5 and 7 both we would have been able to give the correct answer right but we haven't so this approach is wrong the correct approach is to maintain another stack where you keep track of minimums at each level of the main stack okay so we will maintain another stack which will contain the minimums at each level of the main stack okay so whenever an item is pushed from the array onto the stack what we will do is we'll compare that particular item with with the top of the minimum stack if the item that we are pushing is greater than the top of the minimum stack we don't update we don't have to do anything if it is less than the top of the minimum stack we'll push it on the minimum stack as well okay so let's try to go through it and understand we'll push 7 first since the minimum stack doesn't have any elements we'll push 7 here as well next element is 8 8 is greater than 7 so we don't have to push anything in minimum stack then we have 5 since 5 is less than 7 we have to push 5 here okay the next element is 9 9 is greater than 5 so we don't push anything here okay so next element is 5 again since 5 is equal to 5 we push it in the min stack okay so when whenever there are duplicate minimums we have to keep track of all the minimums okay so let's start popping out elements from the main stack So when we are popping out, we'll pop out the top element right from the main stack. We need to compare the top element with the element in the minimum stack. If it is equal, we also remove the element on the top of the minimum stack. Okay. So we will pop out tops from both the stacks. And same is for five. We'll pop out tops from both the stacks because they are equal. Now we have nine, which is greater than the top of the main stack. Also notice that five is the minimum element for this whole stack right now. If we pop out nine, five will still remain minimum for the remaining stack, right? Now there is another five here. We if we pop out this five, which is we'll have to pop out the minimum element five from the main stack as well because they are equal. If you go back and see that there were two fives, right? now it should be fairly clear that why we are keeping track of duplicate minimums okay at this point the minimum is 5 right at this point minimum is 5 if there was only one 5 here if we hadn't keep kept track of two fives 
you would have removed the 5 and the minimum would have been 7 at at this level sorry at this level right if we would have popped out 5 and not kept track of the duplicate 5 right i hope i'm clear if not please leave a comment below the video and let's go ahead and uh, try to empty the main stack here when we popped out 5 the minimum for the whole stack is 7 which is the top of the min stack then we pop out 8 we don't do anything to the min stack because 7 8 is not equal to 7 and then we pop out 7 and both the stacks are empty that was the solution too there is one more approach that we can follow we will modify the node definition so as to keep the value of the element as well as the minimum at that point let's go ahead and see how this works when we push 7 there is no other element so minimum is also 7 when we push 8 7 is still the minimum right then we push 5 we see that 5 is the minimum so we update minimum as 5 till that point and then we push 9 5 is the minimum still then we push 5 again still 5 is the minimum right and then we find 2 that's why we update 2 as the minimum okay when we are getting the min element we'll get the tops min okay so top dot min will be the min element for that stuff and top dot value will be the top value okay so let's go ahead and try to pop out all the elements see we we have you can see clearly that we keep track of the top element and the min element and all the operations will be order of one right i'll be showing code for solution three here is the definition of the node data structure where uh, where we keep track of the value and the minimum so this is fairly straightforward then we have a min stack class where we maintain the top element here and whenever there is a new element coming in we have this push function if the top is null we update the top as the new node and if it is not what we are going to do is we are going to compare it with the tops minimum if the x is less than tops minimum we'll update the tops minimum as uh, x okay and then top will become the new element that we have added a and the min function is straightforward where you just return the top dot min right so the top node contains the min value at that particular point you, then you have fairly straightforward top and top functions which which basically give you uh, the top elements value and also help you remove the top element okay Thank you for watching the video. Please stay tuned to our channel.